let's face it, when Wrath Classic drops, you're gonna be leveling as fast as possible. Which means you won't be reading any of the quests while you're doing that. So in this video, I'm gonna summarize every single quest that happens per the chapters in Howling Fjord. Having said that, let's jump in and find out what's going on in World of Warcraft. When you arrive in Northrend, and we're specifically starting with Howling Fjord, you run up to Apothecary Lysander. He talks about how the Royal Apothecary Society made a plague, and this plague would devour all flesh, living, dead, or even undead. But the Alliance sunk a ship recently that had the most recent strain, so he wants you to go to the wreckage southeast of here and get what you can. Now you run up to High Executor Anselm. He mentions that they're destroying a good portion of Stormwind's northern fleet, and the bodies to the west are a real testament to that. But since the Lich King likes to, you know, add dead people to his army, it's really best if those corpses are burned. So he wants you to torch 10 bodies that are littered in the area to the west of town. Lastly, you run up to Pontius. Now this guy is in charge of the plague hounds here, and the High Executor wants to use those hounds to scout out any enemies. But the problem is, is that they haven't really been fed properly, and if that's the case, they're not going to be of any use. So this guy wants you to take a plague hound out west so that they can hunt a few crows, which apparently they love to eat. Now you make your way to the coast and collect 10 of the plague samples. Then you run up north to the Bleeding Vale. And once you get there, you kill crows for their meat, which allows you to feed the dog. And you burn the bodies of the Alliance so that they don't turn into the Scourge. Once that's all done, you head back to Vengeance Landing and speak with High Executor Anzel. He says that what you've done out there means that he can trust you. So he's got more work for you to do. Now Anselm says that their mission here is to destroy Arthas and that the Alliance is more like a, like a secondary objective to deal with. But he says that we've managed to destroy the easternmost fleet. But there's one little problem though. The survivors have barricaded themselves on the derelict strand to the south of here. And really, our forces should have wiped them out already. But they've got a really strong will to live. So Anselm wants you to speak with Dark Ranger Lyanna and Deathstalker Razel and get them to report on the situation. Now you run back to Pontius and he's really happy that the hound got some crow's meat. Now that the dog is fed, he might be a little bit more cooperative. Now Pontius says that you can use the leash near the cage and take the dog out to look for clues pertaining to the possible enemy scout. Now you run all the way back to Apothecary Lysander and when you get there, you turn in the plague containers. Now he says that the long trip across the sea is affecting the effectiveness of this plague. So he needs a really potent toxin to boost the power of this strain. You can find that toxin in the crabs near the beach because their glands produce a paralytic toxin strong enough to knock out an ogre. So bring them back about three glands when you get the chance. Now you follow the hound sniffing for the scouts and make your way towards the coast, eventually leading you to the cave where you kill two Vrykul scouts and read the scroll on the ground, which it turns out to be a map with a bunch of different symbols on it, depicting the location of various villages. The funny thing is, where Vengeance Landing is on this map, there's a big skull right over it. High Executor Anselm would probably want to see this for military purposes. Now you head out of the cave and kill crabs on the beach to get their glands. Once that's done, you make your way all the way back to the Bleeding Vale. And once you get there, you speak with Dark Ranger Lyanna. She says that the only reason why they haven't taken out the Alliance survivors is because they've got two cannons that seem to be a bit problematic. Now you run up to Deathstalker Rizel, and he says that the ground is frozen like a rock. And because of that, the meat wagons can't move. So we're gonna need an abomination out here with some chains so that we can salvage them. From here, you head back to Vengeance Landing and immediately speak with Apothecary Lysander, who asks if you got the crab glands that he asked for. When you hand him over, he says that he hopes that these toxins will be, you know, strong enough to boost the plague to where it needs to be. Now, Lysander mentions that the Alliance have sent reinforcements. And really, this couldn't be a better time to test out the new plague. So he wants you to speak with Camille, the bat handler, and fly out to the reinforcement fleet, dropping the vials of this plague straight on top of them. When running up to High Executor Anselm, you hand him the dragon skin map, which is the map that you found in the cave. He looks over the map and realizes that this location where you're at right now is marked for death. Anselm also talks about how we know very little about the Vrykul, but this map clearly says that we'll have to defeat them if we want to move farther into Northern. Now, one of Anselm's best sergeants is an abomination named Gorth, 
and he oversees the blockade beyond the lift. That's where you'll launch a preemptive strike on Bailheim, which is a very cool village, and if they attack, it's gonna start from there. As for the reports from Lyanna and Rizel, he comments on the cannon situation and says that he'll show the Alliance what real cannons look like. So Anselm also wants you to speak to Camille, the bat handler, and get a ride over to Captain Harker, who's located on one of the two ships east of the Derelict Strand, either the Windrunner or the Queen's Reprisal. You're to hand her orders to blast the Alliance cannons away. So now you make your way over to the bat handler, Camille, and first ride out to infect 16 of the North Fleet reservists with the plague vials. After that, you come back and catch another bat to meet up with Captain Harker on the Windrunner. Once you land, you speak with the captain, and she tells you that if you want to use the cannons on the ship, then you're going to have to take the ship back under control because the Alliance boarded and kind of took it over. So in order to do that, you need to kill 15 North Fleet Marines. After that's all done, you run back up to the captain, and she says that her men can handle the rest from here. As for the Alliance cannons that need to be blown up, Captain Harker wants you to mark them with a smoke flare so that they can see where they need to aim in order to take out the cannons on the derelict strand. So now you move away from the ships and make your way for the eastern and western cannons in which the horde cannons blow them up. Once that's done, you report back to Lyanna in the Bleeding Veil vale, and she says that she'll signal her troops to make the move since the cannons blocking their way are now destroyed. But now that you've proven yourself in the field, Lyanna wants you to head behind enemy lines and take out their leaders. And those leaders are Captain Ulster, Lieutenant Celine, and Sergeant Lorik. So before we head back to Vengeance Landing, let's go ahead and take care of this. You sneak your way through the Alliance side and assassinate the three officers. Upon killing Lieutenant Celine, you find Apothecary Haynes and he thanks you for getting him out of this mess, which you then escort him back to the Horde side. But along the way, he ends up torching a lot of the Alliance supplies. In the end, he says that Apothecary Lysander will probably reward you for helping him out. When speaking with Lyanna, she says that we have a clear victory here, even though it came a lot later than expected. But it's better late than never. So she wants you to report the win back to Anselm. From here, you head back to Vengeance Landing and speak with Apothecary Lysander. He says that the tests with the vials on the Alliance reinforcements are not really encouraging. Because I guess to him, the plague just isn't right yet. As for Apothecary Haynes, Lysander is pretty surprised that he's still alive. So he thanks you for your help in rescuing him. Now he wants you to take the plague sample to Chief Plaguebringer Harris. He's located in New Agamemnon, which is beyond Bailheim, south and west of here. Now you make your way to Anselm to report on the victory over the Alliance in the field. He says it's about time because they've been a problem for a while now. And upon turning in this quest, you complete the first chapter in the Howling Fjord quest line. There are 12 chapters in this zone, and it's gonna take us a while to get through all of them. But we'll just keep pushing on until we get to the end. But if this is something that you're interested in, then make sure to subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll receive notifications when I drop a new episode. Also, make sure to like this video so that you can spark the YouTube algorithm and get more people to see it. And make sure to catch my live stream here on YouTube every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, where I go and gather all this information and also play some WoW and maybe some other games in the future. Thank you to the Lore Masters, AKA members of this channel for their support. If you'd like to join the Order of Lore Masters, then go ahead and check out the link down below. And I'll see you next week when we find out what happens next in the Tales of Azeroth.